I honestly think it's kind of like the only way to put it. It reminds me of how some languages have completely different ways of using certain words. What do you mean? Like in the Tamal language. <laughs> you mean Tamil? <laughs> yeah, sorry. I'm hungry and I'm thinking about Tamils. God, can you blame me? <laughs> <laughs> like in the Tamil language, mm -hmm. they have two different ways of using the word Y. One Y is causative, okay. like how science would ask it. And the other Y is theological. Like how religion would is. Okay, so there's like a cause and effect why, like why does this affect that, or like why does an apple fall from a tree, right. and then an existential why, like okay. why am I here? Yeah, same word, different questions. Okay, that's it's interesting. It like shows a sort of intelligence about the topic that's woven straight into the language. Right, like there is an empowering degree of subtlety there. Uh, it helps avoid um, miscommunication about the, these different types of uh, questions. <laughs> Miss Kim, Miss Kim, look, I made you this bracelet. It makes you strong. Oh, wow, Ava, it is so pretty. I feel stronger already. In fact, I feel so strong, I think I could find Father Dan. Have you seen him? He's outside with Benny. Different questions. Right. blood again. I thought we stopped that last week. You're going to burn in hell. But that's okay. I brought you all some coffee. It's not hot as hell, but it should warm me up a little. If we don't accept temptations from sinners, let alone murderers. Well, what about from single origin fair trade roasters? You know, they say that if you do what you love, you never work a day in your life, Kimberly. You know, you need to change your passion before that body count keeps growing. You know what? There is a big difference between murder and what we do here. There is no body count because we Eleven don't... Eleven children! Eleven homeless, helpless children all under your care. Dead. Do you even remember them? Miss Kim! Miss Kim! Look! Oh, I get it. There is no body count, right? You're, you don't know. I don't know what, huh? How to look past that, that cross around your neck? To see the blood on your hands? No, I see you, Kimberly. I see you for exactly what you are. You're nothing but a pious exterior with a rotten core. Unborn lives matter! Unborn lives matter! Unborn lives matter! Unborn lives matter! I need your help in there. I need to be outside with Benny. You need to be inside with us. We can't help Benny anymore. Only the doctors can. Have you misplaced your respect for the power of prayer, Kimberly? Of course not. But we also have to use reason. We can't ignore 17 healthy kids just to pray for one sick one. Luke 15, verse 4. Suppose one of you has a hundred sheep and loses one of them. Does he not lead the 99 in the open country and go after the lost sheep until he finds it? Our human acts pale in comparison to the power of God. And he demands we help those most in need. Look, I'm here to do God's work. And right now, I think that means keeping healthy kids healthy. They need us too. All right. We'll both head back inside. After we've prayed with Benny. 
Don't forget. I have absolute authority over who stays on this mission trip. If I feel that your actions are putting any of the children in danger, you'll be sent home. One day, Timmy, you're going to help Mommy carry all the heavy things. Then this isn't going to be so goddamn difficult. Language, young lady. Kim! I didn't know you were bringing my favorite little nugget in today. Yep, and by some miracle, he just slept through me dragging the embryonic transporter down the stairs. Oh, well, can I give you a hand with that, sweetie? Yeah. So why are we having to carry this? Comedy of errors, really. The cart was gone, elevator was down. No strapping young man to help me lift heavy things or raise my child. You know, my usual shitty look. Language. <laughs> Everything OK? Yeah, fine. You know, you don't have to worry. These guys are... Please, just don't. You talked to those pricks outside again, didn't you? Kim, they willfully misunderstand what we do here. They're just bigots who think they have the keys to heaven and a dominion on morality. We do good here. Yes, because of biology or nature or God's will, some of these children won't make it, but that doesn't make us murderers. But we engineered that moment of conception. In that instant, we created human life. And if we're responsible for creating life, how are we not responsible for the dead? Because we don't kill them. Mothers give life to their children but aren't blamed when they die of sickness. You told me that to live God's will is to try to do good for as many lives as possible. We give parents the chance to have children, and those children get a chance at life that they'd never have without us. That's beautiful and good and godly, and seriously, fuck those guys outside. <laughs> I think I'll just pray for them. Thank you. <laughs> Crap. Speaking of doing good for others, my next consultation just arrived. Can you please watch Demi for a little bit? Sure, sweetie. Oh. <laughs> you are seriously the best. <laughs> From now on, and that will be you. <laughs> Thank you. Sure. I'll be back around 4.30 to help load the 12-week kiddos for transport. Oh, don't and... you worry about none of that. You just go get those new parents. <sighs> OK, OK. But seriously, don't lift a finger until I'm back. And forget about those damn protesters. <laughs> Language. Yes, Mom. How you doing in there, Benny? Hey, kiddo.
Ken, Miss Ken, look! I made this for you. It makes you strong. Oh.